get in. We are inside the Hopner. There he is. I look like I'm in prison. Help me. Double last. Replacing the harp strings, piano strings, banjo strings, whatever you want to call them. Prior to this, we were using 14 millimeters. These will now be 8 millimeters, uh, allowing for less stone to go through, more reject uh, into our uh, reject pile. Enjoy the video. Hi, guys. Make sure. <laughs> I was like, wait, I'm like, what am I going to say after that? Prayed up on that podium and ran away from home. Yeah, car some can some cold. Hey, told me that's the drop. I don't see why I can't go on now. All my friends just signing and at times I feel. That's the eye. All right, so Brad's hopping in the 308 and he's gonna be tapping on the backside of this. I'll show you guys here on the inside. You can see it gets all built up and it needs to be uh, banged down before I can climb up in there to, to then drop the machine and everything. So he's gonna hit this and then we'll get her out. Going like that. So Brad ended up getting all that dirt out. So now what we're gonna do is just lift this over so that we can uh, drop the entire screener down low uh, so that we can actually feed everything in through, through the bottom without tapping to go up high. Okay, so we're back. I actually had to leave just for a little bit because I had a guy come in for a job interview for his DZ tri triaxle driver. So, first thing I gotta do is I gotta climb up here. So now basically that we got this moved, I gotta climb up here, take the pins out of those pins so that I can drop this entire unit down. Actually, no, I lied. I gotta take the pins out of this one here and drop this entire rig down lower uh, so we're going to fire it up and we're going to do that now. We got this drop down, but the problem is now I need to get this chute off in order to actually get into all these bolts and everything. Uh, so we got to pop this chute off, uh, so let's do that. So I needed that shoot off because I need to get it this bolt, this bolt, and I need Brad to kind of really stand here. I'm gonna get inside this actual entire unit uh, and, and he's gonna feed it to me in there. So I need to get this bolt and that bolt as well. Uh, basically the thing that was stopping these pins is this pin here, if you guys can see, this whole cylinder 
slides down into that groove and it just needed a little persuasion evasion. Okay, we got the Milwaukee impact again here. Thanks. Uh, if you guys want a Milwaukee drill, make sure to uh, check out right uh, KWC20 for 20% off your next Milwaukee purchase. Freaking gun. This fucking gun is the best fucking every fucking meat. Fucking better. You got meat? No, I would fucking die. Oh, get me! Okay, so this is the inside of it. So this is the groove here, is actually what lips up underneath this sliding bar here. So those grooves go in here and then pull up and lock in. And basically, there's just these plastic things here as well as here i'm getting covered in dirt but hey part of the job today that comes up like that and then basically there's another grooved end like this right up here that's just doesn't get tension but just gets held on this bar so we're gonna pop out this first screen here sweet okay that's off that's off so now i just need to come up okay <laughs> I go right down your back. Yeah, it's like getting snow down your back, dude. Oh, I got that on camera too. That's awesome. Okay. It doesn't take long for these fucking things to get rusty, I tell you. It's almost like they're inside in the dirt on there. Yeah, don't worry about wrecking them or anything because they're That was easy. Ew, 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 ew. <laughs> Gee, put that out there. I don't want to get my hat dirty. Oh, yeah! I should have loosened off those other ones, I guess. I really need to fix that though. This is, we can't get this screen off until I get this out, which I don't know how it even got in here. <laughs> This brass up here taking up the floor. Hey Brad! Hey guys. Hey. Oh, Brad gets all quiet and shy whenever the oh, camera comes out. Right. See this weekend was the big duck hunt and one of the guys at our duck hunt camp said the only videos that they watch is when Brad's in them. So, you know, uh, Scott, hopefully you're watching this video. Brad's in it. Okay, they, is, are they loosened? Did you get those pins out? Pins out. Oh yeah, we got it out. I was gonna set up the camera. There's a big chunk of rebar stuck in there and Brad got her. Where's the rebar? There it is, I look like I'm in prison. Help me. Nice, I thought we were gonna have to quick cut that. Oh wait, we don't have a quick cut. Cause someone put straight fuel in it. I'm not gonna say any names. We're gonna try to get this uh, last uh, panel string thing out. That's what we're calling them, piano string thing. <laughs> That's an edible boom, man. Like, I, I can't help it. There we go. All right. All right. Oh. Oh. I'm eating so much top soil. <laughs> okay, I need to get the top. At least it's the really best stuff in Ottawa. It is the best stuff in Ottawa. You gotta jam your feet there. I gotta use my feet. So this screen, we might get hung up on one place with. Right there. Can you get it? Back to you, man. Yeah, there's some welds on the side. You get it? Yeah. Hell yeah. Woo! 
Nice. All right, we got him out. Sweet. Okay. Now what I got to do is clean all the ridges off where the uh, screens track in and lip in underneath because any little bit amount of mud or dirt or anything underneath that will warp and bend and you don't want that. So you got to make sure that everything's totally nice and clean. So I'll go there and uh, just quickly do that and then we'll get these new screens popped in. Can you pass me a hammer? Clean out this lip here. Okay. And clean off this bar. But I mean, if you got more important calls to take, I mean, by all means, try to just take them. Ah, oh, it's Corey. Oh. Hey, Corey. All right, I'm gonna go up here and start cleaning this while grab the cell phone. I don't need it. It doesn't bug me when I can't answer it. <laughs> it's good because like being really tall is really good for this work. Yeah, it helps a lot getting the laces. Every now and again you just put the suitcases down. Briefcases. <laughs> I drove over one. The one I drove over, it didn't get wrecked? I don't think so, no, it looks pretty good. <laughs> I was driving in our little Sentra. The Volvo I need a new battery for, but the Sentra I was using, I pulled away from where we were, and uh, I drove right over our <laughs> brand new screen. Slow down. We were driving crazy, man. <laughs> no, 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 I never do. Look who's actually here. Al, do you know we were back there? We were Man, we got the old screens out, but put the new ones in. Yeah. Said Al lucked out. He didn't even have to do all the hard work. Am I in? <laughs> yep. I'm hooked on here. That's what you <laughs> nah, tell me about it. Now Brad's going to the outside and he's going to be tightening up this bar and hopefully get everything all seated up. Basically, we're gonna, you'll go with the drill, top, top, bottom, tighten it a bit, go over to the other side, top, bottom, tighten it a bit, and we'll just have to do it like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah, LA BB, who we running with? Yeah, 2233, I'm on 10 again. Yeah, state your name. Big Ben Dope on Flame, I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pain. All right, let's do the bottom one. This one's done. All right, now we're going to do this bottom one here. Let me just double check, make sure we're clean in there. And then we're good. Uh, we can push that up at the last. That thing is. Try to keep it up above until the last second. Okay, one sec.
Oh wow, I'm an idiot. What? What? I left my hammer up there, dude. In it. <laughs> In what? In between the screens? Yeah. What? Okay, but it should just shake out. It'll shake out. It has. It won't affect anything. <laughs> that was a stupid move. <laughs> You guys want to see when you're not thinking? Oh, like it's between the screens. Yeah. Oh. Right there, that little line, that's my hammer. Stuck between both <laughs> the screens. But I'm not worried because it'll shake out just like all the other reject stuff, but I don't have a hammer right now. Sometimes it's hard to get your hands up in there. Yeah. Um, this, let me do a mental check note. Yeah. That's up. That's up there. That's hooked in. That's hooked in straight. That's hooked in. That'll get sucked in. Um, that guide's on. That guide's on. And that's behind that. I don't see any issues with that. Yeah, no, you should be good. Hey? They're pulling through the washers, but doesn't like, they're just pinching them funny. It doesn't matter. Why? I'm good. Oh, look who decided to show up. Corey, everybody. Hit him. So, Corey, how was, how was, uh, how was your day? <laughs> <laughs> how was your day? That's good. Yeah? Are you trying to drown me out there? You guys wearing gear? Are your harness on in there? Yeah. yeah. Safety first, everybody. Safety first. Sure. Cool. So, screen's in. The bottom screens are all in, top screen's still in good condition, it's all good to go. Basically what we need to do is put the chute back on the end. Once the chute's back on, I will then lift up the power screen and uh, put the stacker back in place and maybe run a pile through it and just kind of see how much rejects come out, depending on time. Well, it's five o'clock now, so we're gonna put the chute on and then raise it and that's it. Right, just after five o'clock you guys heard us kind of discussing how we're gonna get this shoot back on honestly the shoot is the hardest part out of all of it but we're gonna get the forks on the back over here we're gonna get it rigged up we're gonna get it done today oh I don't know if I have big ratchet straps damn it all right problem solved I feel bad when guys work with me because it normally takes about twice as long as I have to set up my camera angles. It's been a while since I've been in the backhoe. Looking forward to doing some plowing. That being said, any companies out there that have attachments for skid steers for like blowers and stuff, let me know if you want us to uh, showcase something because I'm currently looking for blowers. Alright, so uh, basically what we left it at was uh, Al's going to be a great guy to get this shoot on. Um, uh, it's actually 5.30 here now. I have a dinner that I have to be at. 
It really hurts and sucks that I, I got defeated by it. But main thing today was get the screens replaced, get it back up, get it operational, which it is now. We just need to get the shoot on. Once we're done with that, uh, then we're completely good to go. Uh, and then Al can move the stacker back in place and he can screen. So the hard part's over, screens are done. That's how you do that. And if you aren't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. What are you doing if you aren't? Make sure that that little uh, red subscribe button says subscribe, duh, and it's gray. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, let me know if you guys do any of this sort of stuff. I appreciate you guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one. I can't really and no, I didn't forget about you guys, the sun's in my eyes, the True Patriots channel that watched the entire video to the very end, which is right now. And if you are one of those True Patriots, I want you to comment down below, screen it. Why screen it? Because we put two brand new screens in, so we'll have yet another best batch of Ottawa's best topsoil, maybe even the world's best topsoil. So if you watch the entire video to the very end, comment down below, screen it. I appreciate you guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for being a Patriot. Have an awesome day. Prayed up on that podium and ran away from home. Yeah, car some cans on coke. Hey, told me that's